Hmm. Well, that should be enough space to take two steps, which is as far as I'll go on a first test drive. Now I have to make a plug for it. I do have this plug that I just found while cleaning up. And I noticed the wires, there's a brown, a blue, a yellow and green, and then... Ugh. Why, why, is it, why isn't there like a red and a black? Ah. Oh, anyway, up here is my rectifier. And I can put, you know, AC coming into these two slots, and then DC will come out of these slots to my motor. And the motor is rated for 130 volts, so the, uh, you know, regular house voltage, in North America at least, of like 120-ish, uh, is good. I just have to attach a plug to these these ends. I wonder if I should go swipe the one from the lumber mill. I'm not going to be using that all winter. Nah, I'll just make a new one. Now, let's see which wire is which. Oh, I hope this thing still works. Oh, let's check the resistance. When I hit the right wire, it should give like almost no resistance. Okay, definitely not that one. The brown one? Okay, the brown one. And what's the other one? Come on, one handed stuff. Blue one, I'm guessing? Yes, the brown and the blue are the important ones. Sweet. Now somewhere I have little electrical connector doohickey. Yeah, I think that, yes, there they are. I have to mention that this is a bag that came from this package this guy in Texas sent me like two years ago. And like, a month doesn't go by that I go into this package and pull something out and use it. It's so great. I just have to plug that in and disaster will happen. I hope not. I hope no, no disaster. Yeah, just, just cool stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's funny when I get to this point. I mean, I've been looking kind of forward to this for a while. Now I just want to like postpone it for a minute. <sighs> yeah, no, no point though. I mean, it's going to do what it's going to do. Chances are something's going to break and that's okay. <clears throat> Oops. I'm just hoping that whatever breaks is stuff that I'm already aware of and nothing new breaks. On the other hand, it might just magically work spectacularly, but I think something's going to break. Anyway, I'm just going to plug it in and do it and see what happens. Ooh, okay. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> it's not plugged into anything outside yet. And I am going to fully be on the other side of this window, outside, when this is, is happening. So, just in case anything goes horribly awry, I don't get killed. But just, just in case everything goes horribly awry and the robot falls into a mass of scrap metal, this project has already been worth it for all the excellent things that have happened since beginning it. And, uh, oh, I gotta go get a phone call. Alright, bye. Hmm. Not the best lighting. Well, that's the only place in the building I can see the whole thing from, so... I also don't know which direction it's gonna go first. So I'm gonna have to test that for a second. So the plan is go outside, start the generator, turn it on for like half a second just to check if it's going in the right direction, and then see if I can get it to take two steps.
Holy crap, that was definitely backwards. Oh, I need to reverse the uh, polarity on that little thing. Well, luckily changing the polarity just consists of switching two wires. So that took like three and a half seconds. Now camera, if you run out of batteries in the next two minutes, I'm throwing you against that cliff face. I'm very nervous right now. <laughs> Landed back on its feet though, at least. So I could barely see that through the window, but I could see it fuzzily walking, and that was exciting, and I'm very nervous. Hope I'm not shaking the camera right now. Uh, this piece right here broke, which confirms that, you know, I'm gonna have to replace all those polycarbonate pieces. Uh, and I found out, well, the whole thing's crooked. I found out about the polycarbonate weakness from a company that makes the stuff. And on their website, it has a thing about how, like the chemical structure of how it's made and how moisture is involved in how it's made. And then if water gets back into it, it reduces the strength by like 40% or something. So yeah, that's why those pieces are all breaking now. At least as, as far as I can tell. So I'm going to have to replace all those with aluminum. First, I want to... Look on my camera and see how that went. That was very exciting. It, it didn't collapse into a pile of rubble. And everything worked like... It looks like everything worked perfectly. It, I think. At least the robot's not where it was. It was over there. Now it's right here. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go play that back for a minute. I'm sure on the video I'll play that back like 40 times in a row. It's alive! can ever give you one tenth of a percent of the feeling you get when you do something yourself and it's great and it works no one can bust my bubble right now it's unbustable I'm so going to shave and have a haircut well cut my hair myself basically never let anyone else tell you what is or is not possible you know what you can do <laughs> 